the basics of college-level research. Research at the college level may require more consideration and some more effort than might have been required before. There are several steps to college level research and sometimes the steps need to be repeated. If you run into any problems, remember that you can always consult a librarian for assistance. The basic steps are to identify the topic, develop a search strategy, find and evaluate books, articles, and web resources on the topic, and use sources and cite them correctly. When you start research on a topic, you may begin with some broad ideas and then refine and focus the search as you gather information. As you work, keep a record of what you find and where you found it. You'll need it for your bibliography, but you may also need to revisit some of your sources as you refine your search. Step 1. Identify the topic. Your topic is the idea that you are researching. For example, transportation and the environment. You will probably want to brainstorm about the topic a bit, thinking of any topics or ideas that relate to your research and synonyms for the terms that you come up with. Think about your topic as a question you want to answer. For example, how do transportation choices affect the environment? Then you may want to refine your question to make it more specific. How does commuting affect air quality in New England? Step 2. Develop a search strategy. There are more details in the tutorial, How Can I Develop an Effective Search Strategy? In essence, to develop a good search strategy, pick out the nouns from your research question that most describe your topic. To get started, use those nouns and combine them to begin your search. It's also helpful to think about synonyms for those nouns and use those for searching as well. For example, if we started by searching for transportation and environment, we may also want to create searches that include synonyms for our nouns, commuting and greenhouse gases, for example, or travel and ecology. Here's a sample search strategy for our research topic on how transportation choices affect the environment in New England. We've pulled out the main ideas for our research, transportation choices, environment, and New England, and put them at the tops of columns. Below each topic, we've listed possible synonyms we can use for searching. You can do this as well for your own research. Step 3. Gather information. Think first about what kind of information you need for your research. General and subject-specific encyclopedias provide a broad overview. Books provide in-depth and historical background. To locate more focused information, look for articles from scholarly journals, newspapers, trade magazines, and popular periodicals, as well as looking at websites and experts in the field. Use your search statements in library databases that will help you find those resources. There are more details about using databases in the tutorial, How Do I Find Journal Articles? At this point, it's a good idea to start compiling a list of citations of the sources you might use. You'll need this later as you create your paper or project. Some people find it useful to write short notes or annotations about each source as well, describing what information each source covers, what parts of their research the source could be used for, and so on. As you search, evaluate all the information you find. Look at the source's purpose or intent, the authority or credentials of the author, the accuracy, the timeliness, objectivity, and appropriateness of the information. Step 4. Cite your sources. As you incorporate ideas, quotes, and summaries from your sources, you'll need to cite them. You'll want to make sure you're using the format your professor recommends. It might be APA, MLA, Chicago, or possibly something else. Check with your professor if you're not sure. Once you have your sources and know your format, all you have to do is follow the instructions. Look for whether you need footnotes or endnotes, which may vary based on the format, and use either the official style manual as a guide or consult the library's guide to citing correctly and avoiding plagiarism. As an example, here are two citations. One's in APA format, the other's in MLA format. They both have the same components, the authors of the article, the title of the article, the name of the journal it appeared in, the volume, the issue, the date, the pages. They're just in slightly different orders. Once you have those components, you can create your own citations easily. If you have any questions about getting started with your research, please feel free to ask a librarian for assistance.